This information is about your midterm exam and honor lock. Your midterm exam, and some of you are asking me about this, it's right on your course homepage here. Um, you have a required midterm review that's coming due here uh, tomorrow. Um, that's located in my courses, and I already sent a link out on where to find that, so check your email. And then the proctored midterm is also found in my courses, not my math lab. And it's from the 9th through the 11th. You can pick your any day in between those dates there and actually take the test. So um, to find out more information about it, go into course content and there we go. And if you scroll down on the left side here, you'll see um, proctored testing with honor lock. Okay. And then you'll see midterm exam. Click on proctored testing with honor lock. And if you come in here, you know, read through, click on the links, read through all of this. I'm not going to read it to you, but um, I've had some questions about Honor Lock already. Honor Lock Student Guide. This would be a good thing to open up. And it takes you to getting started with Honor Lock. How to install Honor Lock extension. So you click on that. And then read through. You've got to be in Google Chrome uh, to do this. And then click here to install OnerLock extension on your browser. You agree to the terms of service and then add extension. And it's, it's not, not too hard. So you're going to click. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it on mine with a little green check mark up there. But you're going to click here and then it, it downloads just like anything else downloads on your computer. All right. And then it'll add the Chrome um, the extension to your browser. All right, and then you'll be able to launch it. Now, going back out, see if I can back this up a bit, to the previous page, um, notice if you keep scrolling down, all right, there's a lot of other information. Student guide with honor lock, honor lock default guidelines for SBC, um, Proctored exam expectations, uh, what prohibit or what's you know included in academic dishonesty. We do not use a note card for this test, so that would be a violation of our code here. Honor lock support. All right, if you run into trouble, there's a phone number. You can do chat, email, and there's also an honor lock practice exam that I would encourage you to do before you get into the testing situation. Click on this after you've downloaded Honor Lock. It's a practice exam. It's not going to count anything. Um, and I'll have to come in as a preview here. All right. So once you've downloaded Honor Lock, these are the same exam instructions that you're going to see on your test. Um, open book not allowed. Notes are not allowed. Scratch paper allowed. Restroom breaks not allowed, handheld calculator allowed, head headphones not allowed, hats not allowed. Um, you cannot take your exam in a public area like McDonald's or uh, Starbucks. You get a little nervous about that. Um, and then background noise is not allowed, so you can't have your friend sitting next to you chit-chatting through the through the test. Um, this test is proctored by Honor Lock, so then you launch the proctoring. Now, here's what's going to happen. See how mine it says I've got five tabs open. I need to close all the tabs in order to continue. Then once I close all the tabs, which I'm not going to do, um, then it'll um, ask me to put my face in a certain spot so the webcam recognizes my face. It'll ask me to hold up my driver's license up into the camera so that it can snap a picture of it. 
and then it'll go from there and then you'll you're you'll be allowed to open you know the the quiz up and again this quiz isn't going to count but it gives you practice before the test as to what you can expect with this honor lock if you've never used it before and again i would strongly encourage you to do this practice quiz um, before you take the the midterm this weekend <laughs>